The traveling man is traveling on. Tommy Hunter hit the stage for his final concert tonight, a hometown performance capping off a decades-long career in the spotlight, which included a long run on CBC television. So how exactly does a country music icon go off into the sunset? Another CBCer named Hunter is taking a look. Our Paul Hunter. What a night for a goodbye to one of the greats. Because we like a Tommy Hunter. Oh, I just love his music. After six decades of entertaining Canadians, this will be it. One last show. Please welcome home to London for the final time, Canada's country gentleman, Tommy Hunter. Tonight, on his 75th birthday in his hometown of London, Ontario, Tommy Hunter sang Farewell, the man who helped define a genre. Think country music television on CBC. Check these shelves. This is the CBC videotape archives deep in the basement of CBC Toronto. It's massive. There are thousands of videotapes here. And of course, not all of them are of Tommy Hunter, but there is a lot of Tommy Hunter here. For example, the Tommy Hunter Show, 1974. Tommy! His show ran on CBC for 27 years. In its day, it was must-watch family viewing. But it wasn't just a platform for Hunter. Look who showed up to play on his program. Johnny Cash. A young Shania Twain. And through it all, Hunter was not only proudly Canadian, so I got a job working at Eaton's. But a guy who seemed to just love doing what he was doing. It's something that I have lived and, and breathed since I've been a little, a little kid. He was Canada's most prominent country music star for a long, long period of time. I don't know how long Peter Mansbridge has been doing the news, but I don't think it's that long. Back in London, look who turned out, former teen heartthrob Bobby Curtola. Tommy Hunter, well, he inspired all of us, all of us kids dreaming about being in the entertainment business. He was happening. One last hoedown. What a way to say goodbye. Talk about the good times. Paul Hunter, CBC Talk News, Toronto. Good, good item, just one clip too long. The Tommy Hunter Show featured a lot of up-and-coming Canadian talent, and they didn't all end up as singers. Can you guess the identity of this future CBC personality? That's next on The National. Well, you saw some of the musicians who got their start on stage with Tommy Hunter, but his show also put the spotlight on a future CBC television host. We dug into the archives and found this performance from the early 70s. That young man is none other than the co-host of CBC Marketplace, Tom Harrington. Tom was 12 when he and his vocal group, the Sanderlings, were first invited on a Tommy Hunter show in St. John's. And they received such high audience approval that they were brought back twice more. Tom's in London tonight to toast Hunter at his final performance. That's great. If I profane with my un 